left here. It's basically the, the Noosa Run Course. Oh, yeah. This is one of my, well, my, probably my first Olympic distance, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, probably. I mean, I'd, I'd have to go back and look, but I'm sure it was... I'd love that you have to go back. <laughs> well, it's back in like 15 years ago almost now. I think my first race was probably in 2000, end of 99. Yeah. And that was a sprint race, I think, in Redcliffe, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah. What's that? I'd love to. Yeah, it's kind of like... Every year I'm like, I want to get back and do Noosa. And, but you, you get through Kona and you're exhausted, one. And two, the last few years have been quite successful. Yeah, sorry. Um, the last few years have been successful, so you kind of end up being busy. And well, We'd also like to drive the coast, go up north, maybe rent a caravan or something. And, yeah, and you, for, I think for, for us, you can only really do that at the end of the year, sort of after Kona in that November sort of time of year when we're not really racing and don't have to worry about training. <laughs> well, <laughs> no way, no way. <laughs> if I've got any choice in the matter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just, just, I'm just like, huh, Steph, boring, need something. Okay, Steffi, you need a nickname. And so I just, and then, and then it was just funny that you came back and was like, have you, who have you been talking to? I'm like, oh, Saw Sport, is it? Okay. Well, then that's it. Yeah. My nickname's Vincent. So. Well, actually, Mary Miller. She thought the girls were calling me Vinny and not Rinny. And I'd just come over from Australia, wasn't sleeping well with the jet lag and she saw Sarah Groff and Lauren Groves in the grocery store. And she was looking for, she was buying sleepy time tea for me. So she was trying to make friends. Anyway, she's like, oh, I'm, I was gonna get some sleepy time tea for Vinny. And, and they're like, wait, 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 what, who? And they're like, yeah, Vinny. And so Lauren, Guns Groves, she um, straight away was like, oh, we're calling you that from now on. And then Siri just changed it to Vincent. Which is funny <laughs> Yeah. Which is way more random. Yeah. Yeah, she gave away. She did have an angry beat though, but I think she was like, yeah. You need to give the toot toot. Yeah, yeah. People, people don't know. They give you the honk. That's an angry toot, and that's not going to get cooperation. We have every right to be riding double, you know, to a breast. Yeah. You could be really inconvenienced your morning that badly. Yeah. And you touch wood, I think I've been saved many times. So you got to expect that person to be that yeah. angry, every person on the road to be that angry aggro, yeah. like out to kill someone, had a bad morning, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, or whatever, yeah. In July last year, we went for a ride with Wendy and we got caught, it was like zero. Far out. And we were, we fine, it was pouring rain. So yeah. we got, and just, it was just a random rainstorm that came through. And yeah. It, we were like freezing. It was myself, Joycey, Tim, Wendy Ingram. And luckily the Mavic guys were shooting Tim and I that day, so they'd yeah. come out to get some footage of us for yeah. like a video that they wanted to make. Yeah. And anytime you go on an adventure with Wendy Ingram, things happen. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. like her and Julie get up to some crazy stuff. Yeah. Um, surprised they're still living. Um, Joyce is like, screw this, I'm getting in the car. She got in the Mavic car, she's like, yeah. oh, this is too cold. I'm like, this is like day one of Kona prep last year. I'm yeah. sure the year before, must have been the year before. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm going to get a decent ride in. I'm at least going to climb up to the top of the mountain. So Tim wanted to get in the car too, but he's being like all manly and was... Gallant. He's like, <laughs> he, he was like, this is stupid. If I get a cold, I'm going to be so mad. I'm like, how is this my fault all of a sudden, <laughs> firstly? And secondly, get in the car if you want to get in the car. And he's like, and he was just like, well, there's no way I'm getting in the car if you're not getting in the car. And so, at that point, you temperatures plummet. Yeah. And then we had to hop on our bike and go downhill. Yeah. 
And so we're going downhill and at that point I'm like, okay, this is dangerous. Because I yes. couldn't, I was shaking that much that my, I couldn't keep my bike straight. Yeah. And you know, like your hands are frozen so you can barely break. And I'm like, the whole bike was shaking. I'm like, I cannot like keep my bike straight right you now. You're on a TT as well. Oh yeah, oh, so I'm okay. on a TT bike. And it was maybe like eight miles downhill. Yeah. But I was miserable and anyway, we got in the car and the heater was cranked up. We sat in there for like 30 minutes. The Mavic guys, it was lucky that they were there. I don't know what we would have done if, if they weren't following us. So that was kind of an epic. And so after that, it seems like I'm not doing any any crazy adventures with Wendy. Did you know, get a cold? He didn't. <laughs> when I was a kid, because I was into softball so, okay. and baseball. Yeah. So I had like posters of there's a guy called King Griffith Jr. and these oh. like amazing baseballers. And then I said posts of like friends oh, yeah. on the TV show. And I was thinking, I wonder if you had posters on your wall. Oh, for sure. Who, like, of who? Uh, well, my, my, my guy was Michael Jordan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course. That friend, friends, you had posters of people from Friends, did yes. you say? Is the show that old? Wait, what are you saying? No, like, I mean. <laughs> How old are you? 33. Yeah, same. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel like it, it started until I was like, I don't know, maybe past having photos on my wall. <laughs> no offense. Uh, I'm actually not a fan of the show Friends at all. I can't handle it. Really? There's a few shows I just can't handle. Everyone Loves Raymond. Can't yeah, handle. No, not a fan. Can't handle that show. Um, that uh, Three Men, whatever. Oh, and the kids. Oh, the what's that show two called? Brothers, um, um, I can't even remember the name of it, but it's very popular and everybody it's knows had it. had Charlie Sheen in it. Exactly. Out. Can't stand that show. No, me neither. Friends, not a fan either. I mean, I don't know. I'm just like... Uh, so, yeah, you don't need to... Yeah. Seinfeld. I like that yes. show. Yes. Excellent. Yeah. I, you know, I'm at Melbourne pretty... So, like, uh, two years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was very angry. <laughs> so, yeah. Seinfeld was all... Well, this is why I came up with this idea. It was through Seinfeld. Oh, yeah. Media, a show about nothing. Well, yeah, pretty <laughs> this, much. This is a show about nothing. Nothing. Yeah. You? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Nobody? No. Come on, Steffi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn you. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, no, no, back to the posters because we've got sidetracked. Yeah. Um, so, do you ever think about if people have your poster on their wall? <laughs> Does that freak you out? Um, it doesn't freak me out, but it is weird. Yeah. 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 Definitely. I mean, I get like, I, the more and more I race Kona, and yeah. the more and more obviously you get on TV then, so then you have a wider audience, but the more requests I get for people who want posters, really? and like, or autographs and stuff, and you're like, yeah. hey, I don't know, it's kind of, it's just weird. I mean, yeah. it's nice. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's, like, I think it's really important to have posters and stuff of you guys out there. Yeah. It brings back that whole hero. Like, I think it's really important for the sport. Yeah, definitely. And for the professionalism and, yeah. you know, forget about the fact that it's great for your sponsors. You know, at, at the very heart of it, it's mm -hmm. great for kids to have heroes. Absolutely. And, um, on it, like, I think, I feel like us as triathletes, for the most part, are very positive influences. Yeah. And, uh, like, I mean, I, I get, um, emails from random people all the time yeah and it's it's quite heartwarming because you I'll get an email from it like a young girl I mean I got one recently a young girl was depressed and you know like oh, wow. an intro, introvert and you know depressed and um, just randomly came across what I would do at my story and not that mine's it's inspiring or whatever but I feel like I've taken control of my life and 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 gotten to this point and she just maybe watched me race some um, in Kona, I saw some footage and was just some for whatever reason drawn to my story, what I had accomplished in the sport, and that motivated her to then get out. And now she's racing triathlons, and she's happy, and she's got friends, and she's not hiding at home. And that's just one of many stories. I mean, I people, yeah. I mean, the, the stories that I receive are amazing. Like that, wow. what, from what I'm, I'm just going about my business, doing triathlon, yeah. racing, because I love it, and, yeah. um, but it's amazing how many people you don't even realize you touch. It's like you hear more and more, and you realize what you're doing is actually quite important, and, you know, because you don't feel like it's important. You feel like you're selfish. You feel like, you know, you're on track to you know, be the best athlete you can be, and it's very selfish and self-centered, and, but then 
once you, I don't know, open up your eyes and, and realize that people are taking notice and they're, and they're turning their lives around because of what they're seeing from you. And I think that that's why I race. You know, like that's why I continue to race now because I feel that, you know, the small number of people that our sport reaches, um, in that there are a smaller number that have in some way been um, inspired by what I've done in my career and they've changed their life for it. And so for me, that's pretty amazing and reason because we all have different personalities and um, ways of racing and ways of, you know, being who we are. And I think that the more we can showcase these yes. incredible um, people, yep. the, you know, the more people we can touch and then hopefully yep. one by one we can <laughs> try and make this world a better place, you know? Yep. Wow, that felt like we did. <laughs> I know. This got this got serious. Oh, no. This is supposed to be fun and it just got serious. Wow. <laughs> um, it's so no. true. I, I I fully believe that like, it's really, really important to showcase how professional you are and what you are here. Absolutely. And that will grow outside of the triathlon as well. Yeah. And that's where it all just gets bigger and better. And I just love to see them really push stories within yeah. the sport. I mean, yeah. we've got some great personalities. Oh. And, you know, you look back at the NBA, how did they go from being, um, you know, basically a, a small, um, uh, a, a smaller sport basically to what it is today. They, they had the personalities, they had, um, they had Larry Bird, then they had um, Magic, and yeah. then they pit the two against each other. The, yeah. That helped build that sport, building those personalities and showcasing their rivalry. Yeah. That, got more people interested yeah. and that's how they really blew up their sport and I think yeah. that can happen in triathlon definitely but I mean it takes it takes a uh, it takes time and it takes people like you oh. um, really stepping up and um, and pushing yeah. forward for you know the professionals and yeah. getting the stories out there so um, the, a rivalry that I look at is myself and Rachel yeah. Um, that one, but again, we're both so nice and we're actually friends, so that's a problem. <laughs> You're not that nice. Yeah, well, <laughs> we try. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it's true. But then, I mean, if you look at just purely, you know, rivalries, I would throw Carolyn in there, and now the the, up, the young upstart, uh, yeah. Daniela Riff. I mean, yeah. going into Kona this year, she'll be the most talked about, most likely yeah. to, you know, win that crown. Yeah or knock me off the pedestal if I can, not if I've got anything to say about it. Yeah, <laughs> let's down the camera. Yeah, yeah. what you think. <laughs> Coming for you. <laughs>